so guys this is me and i'm back from the shower let me see god this is not clear this is what i'm wearing yes black sweatpants and the white tee yes and my room is a bit dusty let's look at the clothes everywhere mm. Look at the my surrounding. Okay, I'm wearing a white tee and of course the white sweats, the black sweats, and of course my normal uh, sandals, these slippers that I wear in the house, sandals, just slides. And let me show you around my people. My room is messy. Just look at that. The room is messy. The room is messy. That is my bed. I even have a pillow down there. Yeah, and I don't know where some of the pillows are and then of course my mirror is there I have managed to get uh, what do we call it the laundry basket that was in the corner over here uh, because I put it onto in the living room because I want to start folding clothes so that's why it's not there yep. and uh, just look at the situation over here all this we are going to just put together so yeah I'm going to get all the clothes off from there, then we're going to start folding. Yes, yes, baby. Yes. Yes. You talk, Baba. Tell Mama. Yes, so that's the situation. So let's go ahead and start folding, my loves. And I'll take off these clothes, the ones are over here, so that we put them in the basket and fold them all together. Huh? Yes, baby. Mom. Yes. It's 
nothing, but I know you can't sleep. 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 It's nothing but I know. It's nothing but I know. It's nothing but I know. Tell me it's nothing but I know you can't sleep. 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 It's nothing but I know you can't sleep. It's nothing but I know you can't sleep. It's nothing but I know you can't sleep. Sleep. So guys as we continue with arranging the uh, wardrobe area uh, I'm first of all starting with just taking out everything that is not in order I'll put them aside and then I'll be arranging them one by I'll, I'll be arranging them back one by one yes and we'll do that together with you guys and as we do this I just want to give a big big thank you guys and uh, just to tell you that I'm really really grateful for the support you guys have offered me uh, 2023 was a big year. I thought I would get monetized, but I think God said no. So probably this is the year of uh, God's grace. So let's uh, look into it and see uh, what happens. So I recently hit 1,000 subscribers a day ago, just yesterday. And my heart is full. I'm just grateful. I'm just worried about the number of views, guys. Please ensure if you come here to watch, always come back to watch again, especially if you subscribe. Please, please, if you have subscribed, I'm um, requesting that you always come back to watch. Uh, if you see a video that you don't like, uh, probably you can give in comments on what uh, you think I can improve on or what uh, I can do better so that you uh, get to watch what you like on YouTube and especially on this channel. And uh, yeah, just to reiterate the fact that I'm really happy to host you guys here and uh, just to have your time for you to watch my channel and always look at my weekly analytics and there are people that i do see uh, always going and coming back and uh, one of them is garriet yes i see the pictures the profile pictures on the weekly recap part but i can't really get into the account but i think from the photo it's someone i know yeah so garriet if you watch here kindly leave a comment next because you've been a regular and i just want to thank you thank you uh, thank you so much for uh, the year that ended, for always coming back and always keeping it locked to my videos. Thank you, Garriet. Just put in a comment down there. I would love to see your account. Yeah, just to link with you. Uh, it's been a while. Thank you, Garriet, once again. And anyone else who always comes back. Thank you so much. Enjoy the video. Amazing sounds 
Sometimes I get so impatient No other replacement You give me a purpose to my life So I'll just be waiting With my deep darkness you run alive Lord, you deserve all the worship and praise And guys, someone said that since 2024 is uh, a year with an even figure, it means that it's coming that uh, it's carrying God's grace. And I want to really believe that that is so true. And uh, just today, this afternoon, I want to just speak up a good word upon everyone's life that is watching this video. And upon everything that your heart really wishes, I am praying to God that they really grant you what you really want in life. Anything that you pray that you ask for genuinely from God, I pray that you may get that uh, from God. And yeah, in general, may 2024 just be good to everyone that is in this channel and anyone else that is around. Yeah, we all want to move as one front and yeah, we're not leaving anyone behind. So success for everyone in 2024. And I'll probably, I'll be getting a tripod. Once I do, I'll be telling you guys some of the things that I really expected to achieve in 2023. Yeah, I'll just give you a rundown of my, what's it called? Um, my dream list or what? I forgot the word. Yeah, I'll give you a rundown of that so that I tell you what I really planned on uh, achieving in 2023 though i don't really always do those resol resolutions things because i do feel like they are things that should be timeless they should not only wait for another year to start for you to resolve to do something that you really need to change in your life but the year 2023 has been rough and uh, i have things that i didn't really write down but i had just spoke them to god and told him that these are the things that I would want in the new year and I'll just tell you guys if I achieved them and if I didn't and uh, probably the new goals that I'm setting for 2024 yeah I'm also gonna set some again for 2024 so that uh, we keep moving as one front like I've told you guys no one is remaining behind and let me just mention one thing that I really wanted in 2023 was my YouTube channel to be monetized but it didn't happen but all the same i still not don't feel bad about it i just feel like i did the best that i could and guys i have a drink over here that i made is this not a drink like a homemade air freshener i did this with rosemary and hot water and the room has been smelling amazing yes papa so i'll just keep it right over here and i'll probably transfer it into a transparent thing like a glass even i think it will look super cute yes so let's get down to cleaning the other parts of the room yeah i'm just going ahead to finish up making the bed and then i'll put in the bedding and i'll also change in the pillows yeah and then i have the water here for mopping so let's get down to doing all that guys And guys, these are the chapatis from the last video. Finally, you guys can see them. And uh, I don't know. I just want to say I don't really... Um, this was, in fact, the first time for me to make the butternut chapatis. And I showed you guys how I boiled and blended and all that. So I don't know why in the end uh, they still came out really tough. Like these chapatis were hard, guys. 
and I didn't really like that and also the color was just a bit off for me I'm not used to doing this color yeah it looks really nice come up in a car vizuri but by the time I finish cooking like for those that are just burnt a little bit we are looking really ugly yeah so I don't think I'm making this pattern at chapatis anytime soon again but yeah I just wanted to show you guys the outcome and of course I'm not a professional in rolling the shape so don't ask uh why it's not perfectly round yet but this is it guys and i also want to thank you so much for being in this video and uh, for walking in this journey with me kindly remember to give the video a like and also uh, leave a sweet comment or anything that you'd like me to improve on thank you So tender and sweet 